Ooh, what is up, dudes and dudes? I am literally a fox drawn by Link. And we're back for some more Castlevania Dawn of Star. In the last episode, we ran around doing stuff, and I beat a boss. We'll talk, and I we talked about um, my favorite lantern from the from DC. And this episode, Link actually had something he wanted to say about how history was made today. Yeah. Um, this also applies to the last episode because we record these and. And bulk, and last episode was also recorded the same day. You know, today is the day that uh, the United States and Cuba resume relations. That's that's pretty good after over a decade of being assholes toward each other. You know, it's pretty good. You know, I'd say. Um. So yeah, that's always nice. And uh, Christmas time is approaching as well. Uh, Indeed. It's just a week before Christmas, as of right now, this recording. I am so. excited for Christmas. I love Christmas. Christmas is the shit. Oh. Also, I just I just saw the, the uh, I just learned that there are redesigns for Bob the Tomato and Larry the Cucumber for Veggie Tales, and they are they're fugly. Have you seen the redesign for Bob the Builder? Yeah, I've seen that too. It's uh, mm. I'm not too enthusiastic about it, but I'm not against it. I'm not enthusiastic about that. I'm definitely not enthusiastic about the the Veggie Tales redesign. I haven't seen the VeggieTales redesign. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, very, very cartoony. Like, um, Bob's got blue eyes, and, and Larry's got brown eyes, and they have eyebrows, and, um... I got chain mail. <laughs> Suit made of woven chains, and increase my defense. Taking it. You were saying? I mean, I'm just, you know... <sighs> I find it funny that, like, um, my chemistry teacher, uh, she, um, I think it was my chemistry teacher, um, we were happy, she, like, she was actually a pretty cool person, like, she would just talk about just random things, uh, she was actually, she was actually pretty cool, as a, as a person, as a teacher, not so much, she wasn't, she was an alright teacher, but definitely a better person than she was a teacher, however, um, <laughs> I think it was her, but, um, it, but she actually like when we were when she was talking about just random things with the class, like she was just like, "Did I, how long did it take y'all to realize that Veggie Tales was a Christian show?" And I'm like, "You're serious." <laughs> Veggie Tale, I think I think it was her. I'm not fully sure, um, but I was like, "Veggie Tales was a Christian show the whole time." I, it hit me like way way fast. At that point, she used to just. Um, some it was some woman, and she was. It was some woman that I that I know in person, and she was just like, yeah, man, well, "How long did it take y'all to realize that Veggie Tales was a Christian show?" Uh, it's uh, special. So so special. Yeah, I was like, "You're special." <laughs> just. Mmm. People like you that make me just wish, like, why? Why? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing either. Uh. Oh, fuck. Err, fuck. Hamburger. What the hamburger did shit all. Uh, fuck. Spaghetti? Spaghetti helps. Also, in recent news, they announced two Devil May Cry games, and I was pissy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Link was talking to actually tell me about this um, a little while ago. Why don't you explain, Link? Uh, so, Capcom announced two Devil May Cry related things. One was DMC Definitive Edition. This version of the DMC Devil May Cry, it's a, uh, it's a revamped version of DMC Devil May Cry from last year, except it runs in 1080p and 60 frames per second. It's, um, it gives some new costumes for Dante, like DMC 1 Dante, and a couple other things. Um, it adds Virgil Bloody Palace. Uh, I think it gives Virgil, yeah, it gives Virgil a new skin, classic Virgil. Um, 
and it adds a couple of new mods like being able to defeat colored enemies with any weapon you want and a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah, that's not coming to PC. It's, it's using community mods that were on PC, but it's, it's not coming to PC. It's only coming to PS4 and Xbox One. And they were also revamping the gameplay by retuning it and redefining it. And so I'm just like, oh, that would that would be nice. I would, wish I could play this, you know, on my PC, but no. Yeah, because Link actually, like, recently this year, uh, built his own PC. Mm -hmm. And now it is, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And after building that, this is announced, and then he's just like, no. And then the thing that really, really pissed me off is that Capcom announced a Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Now, the thing is, Devil May Cry 4 came out in 2008 for the Xbox 360 and PS3, and it was in, like, 720p native, 30 frames per second, only had Dante and, and Nero to play as, and a lot of the game was kind of wonky. Uh, it was still a good game, but, um, then they announced this, and you get to play as Virgil! And in the trailer, he uses a quote from Devil May Cry 3, and it's like the, the font they used for Special Edition is the same as 3, and I'm guessing this is going to be a lot like 3, where they add a bunch, and it's going to be really fun. And guess what? It only comes to PS4 and Xbox One! Yay! Not PC! And I'm just sitting here like, Capcom, do you not want to make money? Yay! <laughs> I don't own a PS4 and Xbox One, and I want some Devil May Cry fuck this generation. And I'm just sitting here and it's like, Capcom, I love you for Street Fighter V and bringing that to PC, but sometimes Charlie isn't enough, I need Dante too. Um, yeah, I personally am not, like, a Devil May Cry fan or something like that, but I definitely know how it feels to, like, have a game that you desperately want, but you can't play it because of a system you don't own. And that's definitely apparent in this generation since it just started, you know, like last year. And, uh, that, since Devil May Cry is like one of my favorite series ever. <laughs> Excusing DMC too, because that game is shit, and some of. Um, no, not DMC. Like Devil May Cry 2. Sometimes I have to be careful because there's DMC Devil May Cry. We used to call Devil May Cry, like the series, DMC, and then they made DMC Devil May Cry. So now Is that you the have one that came out recently with the short haired Dante? Yeah, with with Dante. Dante. <laughs> Dante, yeah, that's what the fan base likes to call him Dante, because he's not Dante. So gotcha. But um so a lot of people like to just refer to it as Dante's game. And to distinguish, it's either the old series is all caps DMC, and um, the new game is capital D, lowercase m, capital C, colon, Devil May Cry, but excusing the old, like, classic Devil May Cry 2, and some of uh, the new game, uh, Devil May Cry is a pretty solid series, and pretty much in itself divine, de defined a genre, so... That being hack and slash, yeah, that is one of my favorites. Oh, you know. fuck! What happened? I am going to save state. All right, now that I've save stated, me being a big dumb, uh, didn't go back and uh save after beating the boss. So if I die, I have to fight the boss again. Uh. And I am out of healing items. Please tell me I have a soul that'll let me eat shit. Thou eat shit? Yes, I do! Yeah, there's a soul that lets you, um... That makes it so, like, consumables that would, um... Yes! Consumables that would, um make you lose health, um, you don't lose health when you eat them. Oh, that's what you meant by eat shit, alright. Yeah. I feel ya, I was just like, yo, you wanna eat shit, what the fuck? <sighs> but yeah, if you equip, like, in, the, in last game it was the flesh golem, and in this game it's the ghoul, and if you equip the ghoul soul, 
you can uh you can eat garbage pretty much. And I got a 1-3 at the newspaper thing. According to witnesses, the beast appeared to be searching for food. The latest reports indicate it is drawn to intense light. I have a feeling that these newspapers are imported for something. <laughs> Could we ever achieve contact with this aerial being? Is it the Mothman? Do I get to fight the Mothman? The Mothman is a pretty cool cryptid. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, but uh, if you never seen him in Ben 10, you, know. you can shut your mouth. <laughs> ben 10, no. We don't, we don't talk about Ben 10 anymore. Ben 10 used to be cool. Uh. How sad. Yeah. Huh, huh. Oh man, you're funny. The <laughs> website I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm looking at a I'm looking at an article about PlayStation 1 games now versus what they look like. Ice cream. Oh, okay. I, I just wanted to say, go on. You you say a thing. They're the like PS1 classics versus their uh, current generation uh, counterparts, like sequels and stuff. And you know you have your standard like Metal Gear versus Metal Gear like Metal Gear Solid versus Ground Zeroes and Tomb Raider and whatnot. And then you get down to Castlevania, and it's just like Castlevania Symphony of the Night versus Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Hmm. <laughs> no. And I'm just like, yo, Lords of Plagiarism ain't got shit on my on my Symphony of the Night. You need to stop. Yeah, no. If you think... Like, what's the phrase, holds a candle? Yeah, if you think... Yeah, if uh, you think Lords of Shadow holds a candle to... Any to, of the Metroidvania. Yeah, any of any other Metroidvania? You're... 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 you're you need to go and play a few Castlevania games. I mean, and they're fine games, but they're, they're just not Castlevania games. Yeah, play, play the Castlevania games that... Like, that, I think... I think, um... I forget who it was from the Switcher that put it this way, but they said pretty much... And I think I think it was someone from the Switcher. They pretty much said that Castle being a Lords of Shadow was the best God of War game they ever played. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think I read about that. I think I heard the best, that's somewhere. And I was so dumb. I was like, damn. <laughs> that's what it is. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. Those games shit all over the world. That was what they Who was supposed to be the protagonist of that game? Lords of the Shadow, the protagonist was Gabriel Belmont, and he became Dracula, and then you got, like, Lords of the Shadow Mirror of Fate, where he plays Trevor, and he becomes Alucard, and Trevor is, like, Gabriel's son, and then you go another Belmont who doesn't do shit, and then you got, uh, Simon, who does shit, and then Gabriel comes back anyway, because he's gotta fight Satan in the second game, and he's in modern times, and I'm just, I'm just like, stop it, Konami, you're, you're, you're not doing well. Don't be Square Enix. What do you mean, don't be square enough? Don't milk your franchise and make it shit. First off, first off, buddy, first off, first off, first off. You can't say milk the series because unless it's a direct sequel, none of the games have anything to do with each other, right? So you can't say milk the series. It's really well, each game has additions that make the formula different, unless you know it's Final Fantasy. 11 or 14, and they don't have, uh, 11 was alright, and 14 was alright, they're just, uh, they're not RPGs, they're MMOs, and you're just like, what are you doing, why are you making this the main staple, and then you look at 15 and you're like, I like what you're going at, just don't, just don't bring lightning back, please. Yeah, I've, I've watched a few people, like, play through, like, early access copies of, uh, like, like, review copies of, um, Final Fantasy 15, or like, like, or whatever it's called, Lightning early Returns. Demos. Yeah, it was like Lightning Returns. It was like Lightning Returns. It was the one where like like it was called Lightning Returns or something like that. Uh, Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy Thirteen. Uh, People, the, everyone I've watched play, played through that hated it. Well, it's just because people really don't like Final Fantasy Thirteen and as a whole, that whole story and universe is stupid. Fuck lightning, all right? Just fuck lightning. Fuck Final Fantasy Thirteen as a whole, all right? You know. 
I think they're gonna end the episode here and then continue this this little rant next in the next episode. All right. Like a favorite you enjoyed. I've been Larry the Fox, joined by Link. And we'll see you, dudes and dudes, in the next episode of Castlevania: Dawn of Sorrow. Bye. Bye.